Hi everyone and welcome. Sometimes my customers can be disappointed with their purchase, and when they are, they come back to my shop to ask for a refund. But how can I decide if my customer should actually receive the refund? By having a clear refund policy. It's key to my business not only because it will prevent me from losing money, but it also helps gain trust and loyalty from present and future customers. Depending on the policy, my customers will know if they can be refunded or not. Once you've decided on a refund policy that's best suited for your company, you can offer your customers a refund, an exchange, or give them credit to spend in store. Since my company doesn't do exchanges, I'm going to show you how to refund a customer right now. All right, so here I am on my database, specifically in an open point of sale session. Now let's imagine that someone has come back to my store and they would like to return an item. Um, so let's say that I have a customer who I sold um, a storage box to, and he said, okay, I really like the storage box. However, it doesn't fit in the cabinet where I wanted to put it, so I will need to return it. So I'm going to go ahead and give him a full refund. And how I'm going to do that is I'm simply going to uh, click on the item as if I were selling it to him again. All right, but I'm gonna go down here and where you see this plus and min or minus, I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And then I'll add the total quantity of the product, which is one. And of course we see that in negative. And that makes sense because we are giving him money back rather than taking money from him and earning a profit. So now let's go ahead and proceed with the payment. So I'm gonna click on the payment button right here. And let's pay in cash. Now when I do this, I'm going to um, put a negative before the amount. I'm gonna pay him an exact change. All right, and then I'll go ahead and validate this. And so we have the receipt right here, which you can print so that your customer has a record of it. And of course we have a record of our um, return as well, or of this return as well. And we see that the total is in a negative amount because instead of having a profit and taking money from the customer, we gave the money back and we kept the product that he returned. So as you can see, it's super simple to initiate a refund. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.